When accounting for an investment in an associate, the initial investment will be recorded at cost. Subsequently, our share of the associate's profit and loss for the year will be recorded against the investment line item in our accounting records. That share of the associate's profit and loss will be um, based on our share our investment in the associate. So for example, we've got a 20 or a 30 percent investment. It will be um, 30 percent of the associate's profit or loss for the year after tax and then of course before um, dividends and OCI. That's one of the adjustments that we make to our investment line item. Now when calculating our share of the profit and loss of the associate, we will need to make certain adjustments. We start off by the associate's profit and loss figure of to tax um, as reported in the statement of um, profit and loss and other comprehensive income. But we need to adjust for any inter-entity transactions that occurred um, and maybe other adjustments required as a result of differences in accounting um, policies. But this video clip I just want to um, briefly look at inter-entity transactions and the reason why we make those adjustments. Now using question 27, if we look at A of the additional information, we'll see that Bell Limited, who was the um, investor, um, and Chime Limited, who's the associate, but Bell Limited had inventory costing $100,000 for the previous year, $60,000 on hand, which had been purchased from Chime. Now, in the question, we could see that Chime is a supplier to Bell Limited, and a profit before tax of 30000 for the current year and 10000 for the previous year had been made on the sale. Now this means that in the accounting records of Chime Limited, for the current year, a tr um, sales transactions on inventory sold to Bell Limited was recorded in the accounting records of Chime Limited um, that included a profit before tax of $30,000. That profit figure resulted from a sales transaction between two connected companies. And when we account for our investment in associate, we apply a principle from consolidation. And that principle is to record or to report only those results um, or figures resulting from transactions with external companies. So companies without um, the group structure, companies that are not connected to us in terms of that we, um, we have significant influence over that company or we own, the company, own that company. So when Bell Limited calculates their share of Chime Limits um, profit that they need to include in their accounting records, we would like to exclude the profit that results from a transaction between the two companies. Now, it states here that in our closing inventory for the current year, a profit figure before tax of $30,000 was included. Now, we work with the after-tax profit figure when calculating our share in the associate. So, after-tax, that amount would have been $21,000. For the prior year, um, it would have been $7,000. Now the question then is, how do we, what is the nature of the adjustment that we need to make for a transaction or transactions like these, um, these inter entity transactions? Now from the group perspective, and this is technically not a group, um, if you think now in terms of subsidiaries and parent relationships, but um, for discussion purposes, let's identify this relationship as forming a group. So from the group perspective, 
they um, time limited in the previous year had seven thousand dollars after tax in their profit which has not realized from a group perspective so in the previous year when we calculated our share of the um, associates pr um, profit for the year we would have excluded that seven thousand dollars but because it relates to inventory and inventory is a current asset and we assume therefore that that inventory would have realized um, in the next or in the operating cycle of the company of Bell Limited um, from the group perspective in the current year that profit would now have realized because we would have sold the inventory to external companies. So in the current year, that is then our first adjustment that we make to profit is to include um, $7,000 and recognizing it as realized from the group perspective. However, the inventory that's still on hand at the end of the year of $100,000, that relates to a sales transaction um, or, or um, sales transactions in Chimes Limited accounts that resulted in them recording a profit before tax of $30,000, after tax it's $21,000. So from the group perspective, that is then unrealized because it still sits in the um, within the group structure as inventory and only once it's sold to an external party, so a customer of Bell Limit, that would realize. But at the end of the financial year, this is still remains unrealized. So we're going to reduce the profit of Chime Limited um, with the $21,000. So in this question, the profit for the year was $180,000 after tax. Um, we reduce the unrealized profit that sits in that figure. We include the realize profit that's basically brought forward from the previous year and that gives us a adjusted profit figure of 160,000. This is then seen as post um, acquisition equity. So therefore the, um, the investor will calculate his share of that. Now Bell owned um, 30% in time, so 30% of the 166,000 will be their share of the associate's profit for the current year. Similarly, let's see if we can calculate the adjustment um, from qu for question 28 with regards to inventory, first of all. Um, there's actually two sets of inter-entity transactions. The first was the motor vehicle sold and then Secondly was the inventory, but let's look at the inventory first. So the opening inventory included goods at $4,000 bought from Symbol. So Symbol is the associate and their costs to Symbol was um, $3,200. So there's $800 um, profit that was unrealized at the end of the previous financial year but for the current year that's viewed as having realized from a group perspective um, once again we work with the after tax figure so it's eighty um, eight hundred dollars after tax it's a, a um, adjustment of five hundred and sixty dollars seen as a realized profit from the group perspective um, at the end of the year, the ending inventory included goods purchased at a profit before tax. So you always have to read the question carefully of $1,600. So after tax, that's an amount of $1,120. From the group perspective, this once again is unrealized profit because it sits in the ending inventory of symbol of the investor. So only once these goods have been sold to um, an entity without, um, outside of the group structure will that be viewed as, um, as realized profit. So the adjustment with regards to that is the profit for the year was 18100 So we include the realized profit from the opening inventory and 
we deduct the unrealized profit. So the effect of that is then that the profit figure we base our calculation on only relates to profit that resulted from um, transactions with external companies to the group structure. So realized profit from the group's perspective. And this is an important concept to also understand when we get to consolidations because the same principle apply to consolidations. Before looking at the sale of the vehicle, just another thought is that we only adjust for entries that affect the profit of the associate. So any other um, inter-entity transactions that doesn't have an effect of, on the profit of the associate will not be adjusted for. Sorry, that's to say um, the profit of the group. So only entries that affect the profit of the group, but um, the profit figure will require an adjustment. Looking at the sale of the vehicle, now we're busy with the um, accounting year that ended 2014. So we've got 2013 and um, so this is June. 2013, June 2013, 14, then June 2012. Now on the 31st of December 2012, so it's midway through the previous financial year, Gong Limited sold symbol a motor vehicle for $12,000. The vehicle originally cost them $18,000, it was written down to 9000 for both tax and accounting purposes at the time of the sale. So that is the accounting carrying amount, 9000 It was sold for 12000 So there was um, a gain on the sale of the vehicle of 3000 recorded by Gong Limited in their accounting records. Now, once again... This motor vehicle was sold between two entities within the group structure. So, for um, including our profit for the year, um, we'll have to adjust for this profit figure um, because it's not realized from a group perspective. Um, now, this is a depreciable asset, and that profit um, can realize in two ways either through recognizing the depreciation charge, because as we use that asset, we also um, realize the profit, um, the, uh, the initial unrealized profit recorded on the transaction, or when the vehicle is actually sold to an outside um, party. Now, the depreciation charge is 20% per annum, and um, it's for a period of six months in the previous financial year. Therefore, the adjustment that would have been made in the previous financial year um, when we calculated our share of the profit of the associate would have been to reverse the um, unrealized profit, 3000 after tax that would have been 2100 so that is from a group perspective that was unrealized profit but because we've had depreciation for six months um, half of the depreciation for the year would have um, resulted in a realization of this 2100 so if I can just continue here at the bottom so the unrealized profit on the initial transaction was 2100 after tax. Um, we depreciated at 20%. It's um, for half a year, so 3000 times 20%, it's $600. For half a year, it's $300. And um, our after-tax adjustment then would be 210. So we'll have a adjustment, and we would have had at the end of the previous year, 
unrealized profit on the sale of motor vehicle um, of 1890 in the current year our adjustment would only be for the depreciation for the year so um, it's 20% of the 3000 is um, 600 and now it's not for half a year but it's full year after tax would be um, four hundred and twenty dollars so six hundred after tax is four hundred and twenty I can't get it to fit in nicely thirty percent it's four hundred and twenty and that is now, from the group perspective, realized profit. So as we use that motor vehicle, that unrealized profit is reversed. It's realized from a group perspective. So once again, our aim with making these adjustments to the share of the um, profit of the associate that we record from the investor's perspective is that we only want to calculate our share based on the, um, the realized profit of the associate from a group perspective. So resulting from transactions with um, companies outside of the group structure.